Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing how to make a nice glow effect in Abyss Paint X. This was requested by a subscriber, so you know who you are. So firstly, you're going to want to get a new layer. There's three or four different types of glows that you can do. I'm going to erase these. The first one I'm going to be showing you is this middle one. Of course, you can use any colors, but I went with a warm color because I thought it looked quite nice. So, to make that, you're going to want to make a new layer. And you're going to want to put the setting onto Add. Then, I'd recommend getting a fairly saturated color. So, let's just say a really saturated orange. Now you're just going to want to get this on full opacity and just make a circle. If you want to add a bit more depth like I showed earlier, you're going to want to have a slightly darker part around it, so like this. Now you're going to grab the blur tool and just begin blurring the outside part going all around it until you're satisfied with the outside blur. It's already glowing a little bit, but it'll look a lot better once we're done. Now you're going to want to blur the middle bit, which looks a lot more like a glow now. Then, just to make it a bit nicer, you're going to want to get a lighter orange and make a little bit there. Blur the edges of that too. And then grab a white, just a normal white, and put a little bit in the center. Then you're going to grab a blur and blow the edges of that as we have been doing this whole time. Just going to keep on blurring it until you're satisfied. You can make the white area bigger if you want, that's what I would do personally. Make the right area like this big. And then just blur around it a ton. The next glow we're going to be doing is the screen glow here. To make that, you're going to want to make a new layer. Put the setting onto screen. For this, I'm going to be using the same colors that I used there, but you can use any color as long as you follow the method of brightness. So at first I'd grab a fairly saturated blue, or any colour really, and we're going to make our outer circle here. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is just for the video. Blur the very outsides of it, and keep on blurring until you're happy with the blur. Then grab a lighter blue, and put some there. Now because of how saturated this light blue is, the lighter blue isn't going to look a whole bunch different. So instead what you're going to want to do is grab white and use a lower opacity around the 50s and just do a little bit there. We'll blur that out and then do some with full opacity in the middle, and then blur that out. With this one I ended up blurring more, so as you can see the corners with the blur are a whole bunch more than they were with this one over here. Now the next kind of blur I'll be showing you is the third blur, which is um, the simplest kind that you can really do. It doesn't have any different layer modes, so you can do it on any app. Make a new layer, you don't need to change the mode, you can leave it on normal. And grab a bright colour, so I'm going to go with a saturated orange. You're going to want to go into the brush menu and get an airbrush for this one. I'm going to go with the trapezoid 40%, but I don't think it matters too much as long as you can still do the same thing. So just make your circle and put more attention to the middle. You can see this makes an almost automatic blur. Then get your white, 
and just gradually put it in the middle. Then you can get the saturated orange again and keep fiddling with it until you have a glow that you like. And those are the three main ways of making a glow effect. If you want, you can do a different version, which I use a lot personally. For this one, you're just going to want to get any pen, as long as it's a normal type. Put your layer mode on to add. And get your colour. I'm going to be using a warm orange again. Make your desired circle, or whatever shape you want. You could make the brightness go up if you want as it goes in, but that's not that's not something you have to do. That's just something that I'm choosing to do here. And then go into the filters section. Go into blur, Gaussian blur. And then as you can see, it does make a glow effect. Those are the types of glows that I like to do. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, consider supporting my channel by leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye!